Is Yamaha about to change the face of the automotive industry? That's what's being whispered in the corridors of the industry. What do you know about this new event? Well, here at ATEC, we're going to discuss and tell you a little bit more about it. So, what do you think? First, let's look back at the history of the Yamaha brand itself. First of all, it's important to note that Yamaha is a Japanese conglomerate. In order to diversify its business, it operates in a number of fields. We're now dealing with the true multinational. But where does it really come from? Yamaha entered the business in 1887 as Yamaha Music. The brand's core business was musical instruments. At the time, founder Torakasu Yamaha was fascinated by science and technology. To begin with, he turned his attention to watchmaking and medical equipment repair. The company took a completely different turn when Torakasu was called in to repair a school organ. He drew up a diagram of the instrument's interior. This enabled him to manufacture his own prototype. It was then that the famous music brand came into its own. It is still in business today. During the Second World War, the company was forced to contribute to the war effort. In 1955, Yamaha Music was split up. Yamaha Motor was born, and began producing motorcycles. This was the moment for Genichi Kawakami, Torokasu's son, to take the reins of the company. Unfortunately, competition was fierce. However, Yamaha Motor always managed to come out on top. It rose to the challenge and became the world's leading company. With 274 employees, two factory buildings, and a startup capital of 30 million yen, Yamaha was able to produce 200 motorcycles a month. The company shows its audacity by putting its limited resources to work and demonstrating the power of its motorcycles. The first Yamaha motorcycle was developed using mechanical equipment used in the production of metal aircraft propellers. This YA1 entered the prestigious Mount Fuji race. The aim was to compete with Honda, which had won the first two editions of the event. On July 10, 1955, 49 motorcycles and 16 manufacturers competed in a 24km time trial. Yamaha won the race. The company even managed to place 7 of its YA1s in the top 10. This marked the start of an extraordinary adventure. The business then diversified. Yamaha manufacturers took a whole range of new products, including off-road vehicles, golf carts, generators, and industrial robots. The development of engines for high-performance cars and watercraft soon caused a sensation. We can now say that Yamaha is an emblem of cutting-edge technology. Yamaha even continues to impress by making its mark on the electric field. Like us, you're probably already up to speed on Yamaha's latest products. Nevertheless, we're here to shed some light on the subject. In fact, the brand is working on new motors that could be used in motorcycles as well as electric cars. For the moment, there's a 35kW motor and a much more powerful 150kW motor. The former is designed for two-wheelers, while the latter is for cars. Both are described as very compact. It's true that Yamaha is always talking about its expertise in molding, machining, and the use of high-efficiency conductors. All of this goes into the creation of these new electric motors. Yamaha is also developing a powerful electric motor for hypercars. What is a hypercar? Quite simply, they're the most powerful vehicles available today. Car enthusiasts are well aware of this. Yamaha is an ace when it comes to combustion engines. Today, a whole new chapter in this automotive adventure has begun. Yamaha has announced the creation of a powerful 350 kilowatt electric motor for future hypercars. It develops 496 horsepower. It also has the distinctive feature of integrating the mechanical part as well as the electrical part. That is the converter into a single block. As you've probably guessed, it's aimed at the market for exceptional electric sports cars. The aim is very simple, to enable manufacturers to couple several of them into a single powertrain. Up to four electric motors will be possible. Yamaha is expected to deliver power to each wheel. Oil or air cooling may also be available. According to Yamaha, the machine is well and truly on its way. All the more so as the brand continues to diversify in all sectors. Don't know everything about Yamaha? That's perfectly normal. However, after watching this video, you're bound to know a lot more. Yamaha electric bikes are about to be relaunched in Europe, with an estimated budget of 4 million euros. The project is part of a transition to electric mobility. This form of long-term strategy is achieving results worthy of the name. What's more, the new motor for these electric bikes is set to be made in France. The MBK industry plant in Rouvroy in the Ain region of France should be responsible for production. The workshop is currently being prepared and the first parts will leave the factory in January. It's safe to say that Yamaha is the pioneer of electric assistance. 
This motor has a rated power of 250 watts and a torque of 75 newton meters. It's therefore pretty versatile. What's more, in terms of weight reduction and compactness, it represents a significant step forward. From now on, 30% of the vehicles and scooters sold in Yamaha France dealerships are produced at MBK Industry. Yamaha also launches a new paving stone in the pool of future technologies. It's about an internal combustion engine developing 450 horsepower thanks to hydrogen. This powertrain design is part of a joint project by Yamaha and Toyota. The two brands were to join forces in the development of combustion engines. In contrast, the vast majority of their competitors are moving towards electrification. We're talking about the internal combustion engine of tomorrow, which will use much cleaner energies, in particular the hydrogen. The engine is a 5-liter V8 with 450 horsepower. Hydrogen-powered engines are part of the internal combustion engine family, and yet they aim to be carbon neutral. Do you think this engine has a chance of survival? What's more, Yamaha is continuing to diversify by presenting more and more cars. Is the arrival of these new engines linked to this desire for versatility? Finally, the automotive industry must look to the future at all costs. Indeed, most automakers have decided their readiness to go all electric by 2035. It is imperative to prepare for this evolution as all cars will have to be non-polluting. This is a field that is constantly evolving. The United States has reportedly decided to stimulate electromobility. China is said to have launched 80 new electric vehicle models by next year. As for Europe, more and more cities are limiting access to city centers to clean vehicles only. So it's high time to speed up the transition to electric mobility. Yamaha's transformation of our automotive industry must appeal to potential consumers. They need to be convinced that electric cars are on par with combustion-powered cars. As car makers focus on the market for new electric models, this technology is spreading. So we're making electric mobility a priority. We have to work with our eyes closed to build a clean and sustainable European automotive industry. What future do you see for Yamaha engines? Do they live up to our expectations? Is the automotive industry ready for this revolution? Don't hesitate to give us your opinion on the matter by leaving us a short comment below. We look forward to hearing from you. See you soon on ATEC.